Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and today let us ask some questions. In the front of us we have an article. It says 106 reasons why I converted to Islam. I don't know if, if you ask me I think number one reason that's you are a fool. And this is the challenge for today. Show me one reason of those reasons listed in this article is not made by a fool. I have my pal talk open. No sound. What do you mean no sound? Do you hear me guys? Maybe you have a delay from your side. Am I heard? Do we have a voice? Voice repeat itself. Well, maybe you have it open into browser. And by the way, if you are a believer in Allah, your voice will be given echo. This is why if you go to Islamic program or Islamic chat rooms, they say like this, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum, alaikum. Brothers and sisters, 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 how is everybody, buddy, buddy? Because they think echo, echo, echo will make you like godly thing, 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 thing. It's madness, madness, madness. So welcome everybody, buddy, buddy, buddy. Are you hearing the echo, 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 echo? You feel like you're in a bathroom, a room, room, room. Anyway, let's leave the bathroom, room, room, and enter the studio, room, 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 room. And now, okay, we are in the studio. Thank you very much. So number one reason to believe in Allah. I believe number one reason you have to be a person who is empty from inside, desperate, um, hate yourself, hate your society, something wrong. If you look at those reasons, we spoke about some of them before, like the, the oneness of God. I mean, look at the, look at this foolish reason. So who who cares if he is one or two? He is one of the idiots. Satan is one too. Those who worship Satan, they say he's one, and they believe he's God. You know. They have a temple, it's called the Temple of Satan. So the first one, I mean, this is the most important one, the oneness of God. So what if he, what, what if he is five? You will leave him? <laughs> Here you see, you notice right away that those reasons are made by a fool. You know what I mean? I mean, who cares if he is one or two or five or seven or ten or a million? What we care for is your God is true or not. Number two reason, God has no God. Wow, that's deep. I mean, you just said he is one God, so God has God. So why you call him God if you have God? Mm, God has no God. Uh huh. So if Allah has no God, he was praying. You know, like we Christians believe in a trinity: the Son, He speaks to the Father. Allah, when He was praying on Muhammad, He was praying to who? Allah has no God. God has no God. Number two reason. Until now, I did not see a reason. My pal talk is open if any Muslim can help us. Allah is very important in Islam. Really? What a discovery. Allah is very important in Islam. I mean, do you see the guy who wrote this article? He must be taking hashish and looking for reasons and he cannot find any. So Allah is very important in Islam. Are you sure? Well, I can prove to you that this is false too, because according to Islam, the most important person is Muhammad. As an example, if you insult Allah, you have three days to repent. If you insult Muhammad, there's no repentance, you have to be killed. So which one is very important in Islam? Muhammad. Allah and the angels and every believer pray for the Prophet. Allah Oh, remind me of hadith let me find it again our pal talk is open if there is any Abdul would like to call us feel free uh, the hadith said when we say hadith that's mean Muhammad is the one who brought those things you know the one behind it is Muhammad the second you say hadith because whatever the Muslims they learn from their Prophet
Let us see. Read with me and laugh at this uh, those reasons. Those people don't believe in a man. His name is Muh uh, uh, sorry in God. His name is Allah. They believe in a man. His name is, is Muhammad. Uh, let us read together and laugh together. And let me post for you the website so you guys can have it in your site too. So you know, always we provide reference for what we say, so nobody will say we are making things up. Let us put it in the screen. Hadith Lawlaka. This is the name of the Hadith Lawlaka. If not for you, Muhammad, I would not have created the creation. If 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 if. And here you notice right away how the stupidity work. How the stupidity work. Because, I mean, it was Muhammad created in the beginning or in, uh, I mean, a thousand of years after? So if not Muhammad, Allah created no Adam. If not Muhammad, Allah created no earth. Allah created no heaven. I mean, do you see the stupidity? To make this is true, that's mean Muhammad should have been created from the beginning. Right? CP and your minions will be will never defeat Islam. Oh, anyway, my friend, go and see how many Muslims defeat Islam by, by listening to my videos, and then you will see. And as long we cannot defeat Islam, so why you Muslims kill people who they insult the Prophet or they speak against Muhammad or preach the gospel in his Islamic country? Obviously, you know your weakness, and otherwise you will not care because nobody can defeat Islam anyway, right? But because you're a potato, Islam only stand because of the sword. Actually, the biggest sheikh of Islam right now, his name is Al-Qurdawi, he's a Muslim Brotherhood. He said, if not the sword, Islam is de demolished long time ago. Go watch the videos in YouTube. So, Islam is just a joke, it's just a stupid cult. Look at this madness. Allah saying, if not you, if not for you, Muhammad, I would not have created the creation. But we knew that Muhammad was not the first man to be created. So, what this hadith saying, that Allah he created everybody preparing all the creation is made just for Muhammad Adam was created for Adam, Muhammad Eve was created for Muhammad. me or me me myself I was created for Muhammad and now I'm spanking Muhammad every day so it look like Allah he created a Christian Prince so Christian Prince will spank Muhammad every day and Muhammad will be crying in his grave and then the question is what what the respect respected ulama ulama means scholars of the religion religion is supposedly obviously the stupid islam and sharia which means the law of islam say about this hadith the answer let us read the answer the answer of the scholar brother indeed indeed the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the reason for the creation of Adam alayhi salam and the universe brother. If the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was not to exist in existence, then Arsh, Arsh means the, 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 the throne of Allah, and the Kursi, and the supposed you know, he, he, he makes something new. Arsh and Kursi, is it the same word you idiot? Arsh is the throne, Kursi is the chair, what, what a donkey. The Lawh, the Lawh is the tablet of Allah, in case you do not know, Allah have Galaxy uh, 10 tablet. Lawh and the Qalam, the Qalam, which pen, have you heard of a God, he have a tablet and he have a pen? The skies and the earth and the heaven and the hell and the trees and the stones and other creatures will not exist. Let me continue. Pigs, cockroaches, rats, uh, rats, cats, uh, meow, how, uh, deer, uh, a mosquito. Hey, mosquito, how are you? Hey, mos mosquito, are you there? Hey, miss, you know, each time I remember the name uh, mosquito or mosquito, I feel like I'm in Japan. Anyway, forget about it. So, mosquitoes, cockroaches, I mean, all of those created for Muhammad. I mean, do you see how important Allah is? So, what this story is saying to us that Muhammad is God and Allah is his servant. Do you see it? Everything created Allah, He have nothing to do except creating things for Allah for Muhammad. Allah, He like tadadan, 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 and we have Zakir Naik on the line. Great breath. I'm going to get you with it. Zakir Naik, come on, leave me alone, man. Let me start even the program. I did not say anything yet. Great breath. First of all, the Prophet, He is the most noble person. 
Okay, my friend, he is a noble person, but he is after children. And he flirted with his own son wife when he, she was alone, standing, seeing through. By the way, what he see through? I mean, she must be very hairy. I am an Arab and I know my people. Christopher Prince, you are very rude. But I want to I wanna know. I mean, he's a very important person. But what kind of God? He created everything for Muhammad. By the way, do you think the angels are created for Muhammad too? Exactly. What an idiot. Angels are created for Muhammad. Exactly. Okay, let me ask you then. Abraham was created for Muhammad. Exactly. Uh, Jesus. Exactly. <sighs> Trump. Exactly. You stupid. Even Trump was created for the sake of Muhammad. I mean, what is that? Exactly. Uh, yeah, Zachary, are you stuck? Exactly. You know, Zachary and I, you are really stupid now. Exactly. Are you even listening? Exactly. Uh, there is someone, a sister there, she is saying you are being stupid. The sister doesn't get the point. And all sister, I get the point. In Islam, we respect women. But in Islam, you respect women. Yes, exactly. And that's why I said our sister there, they have a point. Even if he called me stupid. Uh, in Islam, really, you respect women since when? We respect them. As an example, when Allah he said everything created for the sake of Muhammad, that means all women, and the beautiful ones especially, created for the private too. Do you see how much respect for them? Ah, so beautiful women are created for the prophet. Exactly. What about ugly one? Uh, what? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. What, you, what, what, what do you mean? Skip? Ah, okay, skip that question. Ah, okay, I get you. So, Zach and Nick, when you don't want to answer, he said, yeah. ah, okay, I thought you are like pushing something. You want to, it's not coming in the bathroom or something. Because I don't see you, as you know, we are in the phone. So, uh, Zach and Nick, all those beautiful women created for the Prophet. I mean, uh, but he is going to sleep with all of them? Exactly! Do we have any Muslim there besides Zach and I? And his exactly? Anyone? So when they speak about God, they speak about perfection, they speak about what is right and what is wrong, and they give us speeches, and then we notice that this religion is far away from anything right. Is my voice coming, guys? Because my internet is not, I see it from my side, it's not too much good. So in case I left my internet, let me know. This is the religion which is convincing for you. That there is a God, he created everything for a man, his name is Muhammad. The sky, the universe, even stars we cannot see, created for Muhammad. Even galaxy we cannot see, created for Muhammad. You know, that remind me of that ant, if you remember her, the ant who died and she left up her legs. I think she was created for Muhammad too. Do we have any Muslim would like to contact us, call us, show us something good? So until now we see nothing really. I mean, this is stupid religion. Those people, they don't worship God. They worship a man. His name is Muhammad. Hadith al-Hakim in his Mustadrak etc blah 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 he said the prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do you know what sallam mean guys sallam mean to pray Allah pray on him and he salute him have you ever heard of a god he salute a man I mean you know I was in the army and you always salute first the one who is higher higher rank so if I am a captain I see the major I salute him because he is higher than me. I salute him first and then he salute me back. But only in Islam, Allah, he salute the Prophet. He said, Allah said, Allah said, where do you get this information from, brother? When Adam made the mistake, what mistake? Yeah, he burned the pizza. Okay, I got it. He asked, Oh, Allah. I asked you for the sake of Muhammad to 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 forgive me. If 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 Adam he asked Allah 
Allah, for the sake of Muhammad, forgive me, forgive me, exactly. And then look what Allah said. Allah, he was like, what the heck? Allah sound like a Muslim calling Christian prince and he got spanked. He said to him, oh, Adam, oh, Adam, how, how do you recognize Muhammad when I didn't have not created him yet? Like Allah was like, what the heck? I mean, this Adam is a genius. I did not even create Muhammad yet. And look, he's saying to me, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. I like, um, oh, you know, the grandfather Adam was smart. I can tell. I mean, come on, this, this is a genius. He hit Allah in his weakness, like he know his weakness. So Adam said, <laughs> Allah, <laughs> Allah, oh Allah, when you created me and the blue into me as the spirit, I lifted my head and saw written on on it on a harsh, which means the throne. La 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 Muhammad Rasulullah, which means Muhammad is the Prophet of Allah. So I got to know that you would only join your name with him who is the most beloved to you. <sighs> Muslims, this is true. You join the name of a man with the name of God, and yet you claim that you are a person who worship God. And you are not a mushrik. And you believe in the oneness of God, but in fact, the name of Muhammad and the name of God in one line. You made them equal. And who, who, is, who is the one who started that? Shirk. Allah. And then Allah, he said to Adam, after Adam, you know, he got him this like, he got him busted, you know. He said to him, "I saw, <laughs> hello, I saw the name of uh, Muhammad there. Hello, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to ask you, by the way, how Adam he learned Arabic. I mean, the guy right away speak Arabic, and even there's no Arabic at that time. But right away he look up, he saw Shahada in Arabic. By the way, this is what happened to me. My mom, when she gave birth to me, she told me." that I have a book in Arabic, uh, it's called a jahiz I was born, like they grabbed me, I was holding the book, I'm reading it. <sighs> True story. The guy is just made, I mean, he is just a second, he is not even finished yet. He, he was able to read what is written in the throne, and it's in Arabic when Arabic is not created yet. Anyway, man, don't just don't make it complicated. A true story. As long as the prophet of Allah, he said that a story, it must be true. You like it, you don't like it, it's a true story. And one more word, you know what will happen to you. No, no, I, I believe you, true story. Yeah. I mean, you don't go there. There's no need to. Absolutely, you know, this is a true story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got to know that you would only join your name. Look, he even he knew the nature of Allah, this guy, Adam. Like, you know, he was a shrink. Adam, he was a shrink. He was born as a shrink, you know, shrink those like, uh, uh, they study psychology. So Adam, he looked at Allah, he analyzed him, he said, look at this God. <laughs> he put the name there with his name. <laughs> he must be in love with this boy. <laughs> they are like, there's something between them, something fizzy there. Right away, he got it. This is Adam, my friend. It's not a joke. Adam was the first Sherlock Holmes in the history of mankind. And Allah was astonished about how much he is smart. He speak without, I mean, he speak Arabic, even there's no Arabic. He knew about Muhammad, but there's no Muhammad. He was able to read in the, in the throne, even it's too far. I mean, isn't you Muslim, you say the throne of Allah is so far and we cannot see. How Adam, he saw the throne. He was a superman. I'm so proud of you, Adam. I have a, now I just learned, I have a super grand, 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 grandfather. That explain why I can think, I see it from far away. The reference is there, my friend, the reference in the front of you. I posted this website. The reference is there in the website. All right. And then he says, 
that you would only join uh, with uh, uh, with him who is the most beloved to you Allah said oh Adam <laughs> oh Adam you have spoken the truth Adam was right until now I was hoping that Adam is going to be wrong but guess what Adam was right Allah created everything for the sake of Muhammad my phone I mean it cost me like I don't know four hundred dollars it was made for Muhammad so why why they charge me for it I mean everything is made for Muhammad I mean what's wrong with those people dear Haq you have a question <sighs> hold on guys a Muslim he have a question it must be serious because when Muslim they ask questions especially if they ask their sheikh they ask them brother is it halal to drink ice cream hello brother or it's haram brother <laughs> Muslim they get serious only here when they speak to the scholar they ask all the silly questions assalamu alaikum brother can I shave under my arm brother a brother yesterday I was doing things with my wife a brother and then a drop of her milk come from her nipple and fell in my mouth is it true brother she became my sister now <laughs> what a religion <laughs> sure sure Abdul Haq you have a question I cannot believe it you have a question I mean are you sure huh. waiting for your question Abdul Haq did he post any question until now I didn't see it how a man who died can be God that's a good question actually priceless just to show you why I say Muhammadan or all of them they are Abdul blank look what this guy he just said look what he just said let me post your text in the screen blank people no wonder you idiot you just proved that Jesus is God because according to your stupid religion Jesus never died so if God cannot die will in, in Islam Jesus never die and now I want to ask you if Jesus is just a man how come he did not die for the last 2,000 years you see this is your question not my question I mean you Muslims you have a problem I mean, what, what are, are you drinking camera you're in Abdul Haq are you drinking camel urine be honest with me is that the are you under the influence of urine obviously you are when you say how can God die you just debunked your own religion number two if God cannot overcome death then how he cannot he cannot be God you see that can be true if God he die and he is not alive but all of us we knew that the Christians believe that yes they killed the flesh of Jesus but nobody can kill God they kill his flesh and he came back to life with the flesh this is why we call it resurrection you idiot even for a human being when he is resurrected it's re resurrect which means you you unite between the body and the flesh and the and the and the, and the, uh, the, the spirit and the soul so when you say how God can die the second you say how can God do anything that's mean you don't believe in God you are a kafir for God he can do anything he want and if you are a Muslim and you believe that Jesus if he is God should not die then Jesus is a God is God in Islam because in Islam he did not die so wherever you go you are getting busted do you how silly you are wherever you go you are stupid what is the point to die he died for our sin you see uh, the, the hack uh, uh, when when Muslim they say things it's really stupid what is the point of sending Muhammad for your sin to save you from your sin I want to go with your stupid logic can I ask the same question why Allah he made us sin and then he will send Muhammad to save us from our sin secondly when we say Jesus he died for our sin we don't mean that Jesus he died for the sin but because of our sin he came to save us because of our sin he came and he gave his life 
So you are just a Abdul as the rest. Copy paste. The sin of mankind, because of the sin of mankind, God sent messengers. Do God have to send messengers? No. So now you, I, I ask you the same question. Do Allah need to send Muhammad to save us from our sin? If you say yes, that's meaning you are stupid because God do not need to send anyone. But in our belief, because Jesus is about love and God is love, God himself is love. So for God, this is what the Bible says, and I'm quoting for you. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. To do what? To save us from our sin. So you are silly like your prophet. And I never saw a Muslim. He is really, he know what he's talking. They do not know the religion. They do not know the Hindus. I mean, they debate the Hindus and they got busted. They debate the Christians and they got busted. They debate themselves, each other, they got busted. And there is, you know, uh, holes in the standard narrative. You know, a lot of holes. This is how stupid they are. Anyway, so let us continue. Don't disturb us, please, for now. At least, uh, 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 why well, you don't call me, my friend? It's for free. And trust me, people will be happy to hear you. There is a guy from Germany. My friend, we challenged this guy to debate me. He's a coward, he's a potato. What we can do? We chase them. And what I would do? Go and stand in front of his house? Just look at it. Call me, Dean. Call me. I like you, by the way. I think you are the best between all. I mean, I think you are the best uh, you know, uh, uh, son in your in, in your family. Uh, I'm sure your your dad is so proud about you. So just call me, my friend. Okay. Uh, anyway, so here we continue, and Allah He said to him, "Oh Adam, you spoke the truth. Indeed, Muhammad is more beloved to me than anything. And when you ask me for his sake." I pardon you. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay, Allah. Allah, for the sake of Muhammad, uh, forgive me, Allah. I was spanking Muhammad for the last uh, 20 years, 50 years, 70 years. Allah will look at me. Okay, Christian Prince, you hit me in the weak spot. Because you asked me for the sake of Muhammad, your sin is forgiven. Uh -huh. I mean, do you see how easy it is? And, and Adam's sin was forgiven, and yet Muhammad does not exist. For the sake of Muhammad, who does not exist. I don't know, you can call it cartoon, you can call it shish kebab, you can call it hummus, but this is the most stupid cult ever. And then we continue. Allah, he continues saying, if Muhammad was not to in existence i would not have created you look here adam he look at himself uh oh me myself i'm created for the sake of muhammad no no we are not using skype guys don't post things without knowledge we are not using skype anymore we are using just pal talk so don't ask people to add me in skype we are not using skype you will see in the info that people can contact me in pal talk. Hadith, second hadith. Allah revealed to the Prophet Isa. Mean, this is supposed to be Jesus. Allah, he called Isa. This is the Muslim Isa. We have nothing. This is not our Jesus. Eh. So Allah, he, he said, Isa, I'm going to tell you something. Okay? Just between me and you. He said to him, Isa, have faith. Have faith. In Muhammad, <laughs> my friend, anyone want to debate me? They knew how to fire me. They are coward. Don't stop telling me, people. Stop telling me. Did you hear this guy want to debate you? This guy want to debate you? I mean, all of them they are potatoes. They knew how to fire. Obviously, they heard of me. I never heard of them. The one who want to debate somebody, he can call him. I am live on air. My 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 pal talk is open. So please, don't disturb us with those stupid things. With my respect to you, stop saying to me, this guy want to debate you. Nobody want to debate me. Trust me. Nobody. If they want, nobody stopping them. My pal talk is open. 
Anyone can call me. Anyone who's a Muslim with a beard, without beard, he can call me. But they are potatoes covered. So don't stop mentioning to me, did you hear about this guy? All of them, they want to debate me. But face to face, brother. <laughs> Let us continue. You see, you guys, I should, should, I, should I stop the chat? Because you are disturbing my uh, thought now. Like this guy went to be true, and this guy went to be true. What I would do with them? Here we go. I am live. What I would do? Go after them. Then he says, Allah, he said to Isa, have faith in Muhammad and order your ummah to do the same. Okay, okay Muslims, Muslims. But there's more Muhammad. How, how how Jesus will have faith in Muhammad if Muhammad is not created yet? If Muhammad was exists 600 years after? Any Muslim have an answer for this? And then he continued. If Muhammad was not to existence, in existence, I would not have created Adam, nor I would... I have made heaven or hell. Is those are one of the 106 reasons to convert to Islam? This is a stupid story. Where Muhammad he got this story from? Don't you think that this guy is worshipping himself and fooling you? That everything in the universe. I mean, what kind of a prophet? He go around, he says, everything created for the reason. I mean, oh, this guy is mentally ill. Either he believe he's God, or he believe that God is his servant. What do you think about a person? Go around and say everything created, because this is what Muhammad saying. Muhammad going around, he go to the coffee shop, to Starbucks. Hey guys, do you know that coffee box is a Starbucks that created because of me? Yes, Allah, he created Adam, and Adam later, the children of Adam created Starbucks. So Starbucks now is created because of me. And uh, Din al-Haq saying, you corrupted the Bible. Again, again, a stupid, a stupid claim. Because if we corrupted the Bible, that means Allah is an idiot, and he cannot be God. For the one who can corrupt the word of God, obviously, this God is not God. Because the Bible, according to Islam, is sent by Allah. So again, it's stupid claim. I mean, you see, if an atheist, he said that, he can get away with it. But you are Abdul, you idiot, you know, don't get married. Your wife, your wife, she will break her nails in your neck from the first night. If you have any neck left anyway, after leaving from here. So you notice here that this man is mentally ill, going around telling people that everything in this universe is created for his sake. Is that normal? Let us think about it now. Somebody he start like we are 2000, uh, uh, 2021 and then look guys look what I appear for me in the chat chat with a Muslim do you see the finger this is the only religion who give finger to God Let me see if I click at this chat, what will happen? Give me a second. <coughs> Choose a name, non-Muslim. Oh boy, that will be interesting. Let us see if they will answer me. I click at the chat, you know. Who want to click at the chat with me? If you want to chat with them, click. Here we go. But I will see if they will answer me first. I don't know. I asked them, what, who is Muhammad? Let 
No screen? Oh, okay. Hold on. They are not answering anyway. Nobody answered yet. Guys, click at the link and ask them who is Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? I guarantee you they have no answer. They don't know. Who is Muhammad? Where in the Quran it says who is Muhammad? Okay, it says in the Quran Muhammad. Muhammad who? Where he was born? Which year? Who is his father? Who is his mother? Look, copy paste. Look at this. She copied an they copied an article for me from Wikipedia. Muhammad peace be upon him. He was born in Mecca five seventy years after Jesus. He was illiterate and able to read, and that's this is who Muhammad. <laughs> They copy for me Wikipedia. <laughs> okay. Uh, why he kissed the black stone? Why he kissed the black stone? What do you mean? There's no screen. There's a screen. It take time to come here to your side, maybe. Let us see now what the what the answer will be. Guys, uh, text them and ask them the same question. Text them and ask them the same question. Why he kissed the black stone? Let us see what the answer will be. Last time I asked a Muslim website why the prophet he kissed the black stone, they said to me because it's holy. I said, Why it's holy? They said, Because he kissed it. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, until now, there's no answer. Guys, uh, maybe she will ignore me now, or this person ignore me. Ask them the same question, uh, uh, exactly who is Muhammad, and then ask why he kissed the black stone. Because from Jannah, I mean, have you have you ever heard of a stupid answer like this? So because the black stone is from Jannah, well, aren't, you, are, aren't Adam himself is from Jannah? Isn't it Eve is from Jannah, so should Adam kiss her bum? How stupid is that? Isn't Shaitan himself was in Jannah? What a stupid people. Anyway, God has no answer. Why he kissed the black stone? We freeze. The Muslim is searching. The Muslim are searching for answer. Why he kissed the black stone? Why he kissed the black? This is embarrassing. Hmm? No, no answer. That's it. Bye bye. Hmm. He was a pagan prophet. Ask the same question. Guys, there, ask them the same question. He was a pagan prophet. See, I mean, this is this is how they they have nothing. They they copy list, you know, they, they copy paste. They, they don't know what they are talking about. Pagan. 
So what if a stone came from, let's say a stone came from heaven, you know, this is coming from the space. Simply you worship stones from space. That's it. You Muslim worship stones from the space. And there's millions of them on this earth. Anyway, guys, you know, feel free to contact them, call them, I mean, uh, chat with them, and see what they will say to you. Ask them the first question, who is Muhammad? And then ask them, uh, why he kissed the black stone? And then tell them he was a pagan prophet. This is the link, again, if you like to chat with them because they want to convert you to Islam brother very I mean very convincing religion very convincing we kiss a stone because uh, uh, you know it's from heaven actually no you don't kiss a stone only because of from heaven because you worship the stone let me show you the hadith the Arab always they used to worship a stone and they go around it and this is a Sahih hadith from al-Bukhari so nothing happened after Islam, nothing changed. This is a stone, they look for a strange stone, strange looking stone, and then they start kissing it and worship it. Read carefully. We used to worship stones. And when we find better stones from the first one, we would throw the first one and take the later. But if we could not get a stone, we would collect some earth, which means dirt, i.e. soil, and then bring a sheep and milk that, sh that sheep over it and then they perform tawaf around it that's what you do muslims are you when the last time you did tawaf do you see it do you see it this is the arab practice and the black stone was exist before muhammad And then if we go to the Islamic interpretation for the stone story, you will see that Muhammad, he said that the black stone was white like milk and then the sin of Bani Adam or the sin of the children of Adam made it black. Then we go to the interpretation and we find that women, they used to go around the Kaaba and then they touch their private part when they have their period and they place their hand full of blood inside the black stone because this is the God who will give them fertility. In other way, it's the same as representing, representing a stone God of Baal. If you want to have a child, you go around the stone and totally naked. And actually, if we go in the Hadith, you will see that the Arab, yes, you used to go around the Kaaba totally naked. Totally naked. Do you see it? Hisham narrated from the authority of his father that the Arab, with the ex uh, exception of uh, of Homs, who were uh, Quraysh, which is a lie. I mean, the Kaaba is in the heart of Quraysh and they are in control of it. And uh, his, his descendant, they used to scrimsize, etc., in the house naked. They used to do what? Go around the Kaaba naked. So then here you ask yourself, what was the religion of this Kaaba where people required to walk naked? Any Muslim can answer us? Guys, did you ask them the, the questions to the website? Did you did you visit the website? Did you ask them the questions? Why Muhammad kissed the black stone? Anyone get an answer? This is Islam. If any of you get the answer, let me know, by the way. Okay. Look, you know, Deen al-Haq is really upset. Deen al-Haq, are you a female? Honestly, between me and you, Deen al-Haq, because once I received an email from a Muslim woman, and she said exactly what you said. She said to me in the email, so what if your voice is sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I mean, she is very hateful. I am suspecting it's you who sent me that email, aren't you? Aren't you are you a female, Daniel Haq? Hmm, sound fishy, the same words exactly. But there is here one, one, one I hate you missing. That one she said to me three times, I hate you. You said it only twice. Hmm, maybe, I don't know. Oh boy.
Yeah, you are a male. Uh, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Call me, prove me wrong. Call me right now in Pal Talk and prove me wrong. No? Yeah. Anyway, where we where we 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 stop where uh, in the in the hadith in the hadith. Anybody answer from that website, guys? Anyone answer you why Muhammad is the black stone? You will not receive an answer, right? You will not. Hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> I mean, look at this madness. Look at those stupid story. Hmm. Look, look, all of those hadith is about Allah created everything because of Muhammad. Which mean that the reason for Allah to exist is Muhammad. I mean, what, what Allah have to do except serving Muhammad? Nothing. Judgment, the creation, the seven days working, uh, you know, creating rats and cats and dogs and bear and deer. All this work for the sake of Muhammad. I mean, do you see how how much how stupid this Muhammad is? Obviously, he's mentally ill. Do we have any Muslim want to contact me in Pal Talk? Has everyone afford, ever afford share with you about the basic belief in Islam? Has anyone ever afford? Okay, but. This is was the uh, this was an answer for why Muhammad kissed the black stone. This was the answer for why he kissed Muhammad. Because anyone want to? Do you like me to share with you? Yeah, share with us. Why, why, we asking you why Muhammad kissed the black stone. Tell her, okay, share with me, but I want to know first why Muhammad kissed black stone. He was was he pagan? Hmm. Was he pagan? Copy paste nation. Let us go back to the reasons and love. So we find that Allah is not important in Islam. The one who is important in Islam is Muhammad. Period. Allah is exists to serve Muhammad, not the opposite. Allah hears me when I call him. What a lie. What a lie. Let us go to the hadith. Allah hear me when I call him. Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide many times because Allah don't hear him. But listen to this one. Isn't it your prophet say that Allah come down every day, every night, in the third part of the night, to the lowest heaven, asking who, who, who is praying for me? If Allah hear you every, wherever you are, wherever he is, how come he need to come every day, every night, in the third part of the night? That's mean Allah reception is very bad. He cannot hear you unless he go down. Hey Allah, get a closer. Do you have signal, Allah? No. Okay, get a closer, Allah. Do you have signal now? No. Okay, Allah, go down to the, uh, the fifth heaven. Okay, now I'm in the fifth heaven. Okay, open your phone, Allah. See, do you have signal? No. Allah have no signal. So Allah keep coming down, keep coming down, keep coming down, and there is no signal. So you see how, uh, this is why I say the reason is stupid. I mean, those people are talking about Allah, he hear you. Allah, he hear you. Where, how? Brother, do you know that Allah is listening to us right now? Ask any Muslim, is Allah can can Allah hear us if we are in the bathroom? They will say no. Allah don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, do we have any Muhammad that would like to call me? I'm so disappointed. I thought you Muslims we will be lining up to call me and get me busted. Hmm? Anyone receive an answer from the website? Why Muhammad kissed the black stone? <clears throat> what a stupid cult. 
Uh, Christian in Muslim country, you are dead. Islam in any country, you are welcome. Mm. Okay. Let us continue. Allah has no image. If, 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 who said that? Let us go again to the hadith. Potatoes. Allah have no image. Who said that? I mean, obviously, the one who wrote the article, he is a big time fraud. He is saying everything against what Islam teach. This is Muhammad. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is very authentic. They said to Muhammad, are we going to see our Lord, our Allah, in the day of uh, judgment, uh, uh, in the last days, in the resurrection? He said, yes. He said, are you going to bother when you see uh, the sun in the sky? He said, no. He said, is it hard for you? Like, uh, uh, if you see the moon? He said, no. He said, this is how you will see Allah. Similarly, you have no difficulty in seeing Allah in the day of resurrection. So if Allah have no image, we will see what? Muslims, what's wrong with you? Why you keep lying? Why in the website saying Allah has no image when we are going to see Allah? Why you cannot be truthful? Because simply if Allah has no image, then we cannot see Allah. This is our, uh, our eyes, you know. And Muhammad, he compares seeing Allah the same as seeing the object like the moon and the sun. So obviously we will see something physical. And not only that, if you continue reading the hadith, you will see that Allah will come to them in a shape. In what? In a shape other than they saw first time. Read it. Then Allah, the Lord of the world, will come to them in a shape. Here in translation, saying nearest to the picture in their in, in their mind. But you just said to us, He have no picture. If you open different hadith, you will see it says different because here the translator is trying to hide the stupidity. Open different hadith, you will see it says in the same as you saw him first time. Read carefully. Here it says in this hadith, Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know. Hmm? I thought Allah has no shape. Now, Muhammad saying, we have a shape and we know that shape. Uh, we have a Muslim here saying, stop lying about Islam. Okay, why do you, why we do we exist? I want to ask you the same question. Why you are exist if you don't dare to call me and get me busted that I am lying? I mean, look at your name. Stop lying about Islam and your name. Why do we exist? I'm asking you why you exist. What about you call me right now and tell me I'm lying about what? Is that fair? Why you don't call me? Because I am showing you in the screen the reference, you coward. So who is lying? Who is lying? I mean, imagine, guys, I'm showing them in the screen what their prophet saying, and they say, stop lying. You will answer it. No, you need to call me. Okay, okay, go answer me if you want. If you cannot call me because your mom shouldn't allow you to talk to talk to adult in my age, maybe. So why Allah? He have a shape. Go ahead. I'm waiting for you. Why Allah have a shape? Yeah, right now. Huh? Any Muslim knows why Allah have a shape? So in the Muslim website, they say Allah has no image, have no shape. And then we find that Muhammad said no. So until now, everything they said in this website is, is, is false. Not a single thing is true. All of it is false.
No, uh, you call me in the pal talk, not phone number. Download pal talk, it's for free. Don't forget, please, to before you download pal talk, to say inshallah, because this is the password for Allah to allow you to download. You are a Muslim, you are his slave. You have to say inshallah. Otherwise, Allah will make you shish kebab. But you know, you know how big his shape is. He will step on you. Yeah, let us see if he will come. We'll give him give him a chance to download the application and call me. So you notice that everything the Muslim they say in this website is is a lie. Allah have a shape. Allah has an image, and we will see Allah. Well, isn't it you Muslim? You say Allah. He sit in the top of the throne. So who is in the top of the throne? Mr. Fort, if Allah has no shape, has no image, he is in the top of the throne as what? Who is in the top of the throne? The throne is empty. Brother, do you see the throne of Allah? Yes, brother, but I don't see anyone there. Hey brother, because Allah has no shape. So what's the point of this throne? Hmm. Anyone? Any Muhammadan? They lie. And you know, the Quran even described that the throne of Allah is carried is carried by eight mountain goats. The interpretation, some interpretation says they are mountain goats, some of them they say they are uh, eight angels and they have four faces. Uh, Let us go to the Quran. Chapter 69, verse number 17. And the angels of its side will be eight. If you go in the Hadith, you will find it says they are mountain goats. They are what? Mountain goats. So Allah has no shape, and then mountain goats are carrying him. Let us see if we can find the hadith. <sighs> Where is the mountain gold story? Here we go. Brother, the messenger of Allah was sitting when a cloud passed upon of above him. Above him, the messenger of Allah he looked at it and said, hey, "What do you call this?" Muhammad is really crazy. He he he, he fabricate names even for the cloud. They said Sahab. You know this is Arabic word Sahab. He, and he said it is Muzin. If 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 what is that? And they said to him Muzin. Uh, he said, uh, and Anan. They said, Anan? <laughs> I'm not quite confident about the word Anan. And then he's okay. He asked, Do you know how the distance between the heaven and the earth? If, 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 if. You know, the president of uh, Egypt, the one he was from Muslim Brotherhood, he claimed he worked for NASA. <laughs> That's Dr. Muhammad. Okay, we have a Muslim. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Why we do exist? He is calling. He's uh, he's contacting me. That's wonderful. Let us call him. <coughs> he 
Yes, my friend, please mute YouTube so we don't have echo, if you don't mind. Okay, can you mute YouTube and we continue, please? Mute? Okay. Uh, can you show me the lie I said about Islam? Go ahead. I, I, I wasn't saying a goat holding the, I wasn't saying gold a goat holding the earth. I was saying eight goats carrying the, the throne of Allah. All right. Can Allah can uh, okay you, you said you said Allah can do anything. Can Allah have a son? Will the Quran no, but the Quran says no. Allah, the Quran says look like you are you are against the Quran. That's wonderful in news, you know. So you are a pro No, my friend, the Quran you are is, are you Ahmadiyya or what? What's how Allah have any sons? Allah have no sons. And the Quran says, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend, correct? Okay, so what we understand from chapter 6 verse 101, that your God cannot have a son unless he have a wife, correct? Okay, but if you remember that there is a lady, her name is Mary, she is the mother of Jesus, and she have a son, yet she don't have a boyfriend, correct? Okay, so how Allah he is God, yet he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend, and Mary, she is not God, yet her God made her have son, yet she have no boyfriend. Exactly, so because she is a human, she should not be able to do it, but now we are talking about Allah himself, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. For me, if you ask me, do you have a son? I would say no, why? Because I don't have a woman. That's normal. But so when Allah says, How I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? How can I have a son? Which means Allah is a question the ability. Do you question the ability of God yourself? Okay, so how Allah question his ability then? Uh, hold on, people they are saying they cannot hear you. Give me a second, please. For some reason they cannot hear you. Uh Guys, hold on, hold on, guys. Uh, let me see what is the problem. They say they cannot hear you. Um, let us see what the problem. Okay, talk. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, okay. Let us see. Uh, no, still they cannot hear you, I think. Uh, okay, now I think. Talk, talk, please. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, now they can hear you. I think they can hear you now. All right. Ah. So I was, so you know, guys, just to, uh, you did not miss much. He said to me, uh, he agreed that uh, uh, Mary she have a son. She don't have, uh, uh, she don't have a boyfriend, and yet she have a son. And you heard me saying to him that how Allah can have a, uh, how Allah says I cannot have a son unless I have a girlfriend. So what is your answer for that? Repeat again for them, please, so they can hear you. Well. The answer is, is that Mary, she's human, so she can have a son, but God is beyond the material, like, beyond our existence, so but my Allah friend, can't have a son. Yeah, but the one who is saying, how I can have a son is Allah. Yeah. So how Mary, who is not a God, yet she was able to have a son without having a boyfriend or a husband, but you're a God who is God, he's not a human, yet he say, how can he have a son? He is a question, his ability. What, what what's the what's the point like you're saying like can god create a rock so big that he can't hold like it's the same thing atheists say like no you're just talking lie I'm, about make, I'm, I'm making it more 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 simple if allah he says how can i do this if i don't how i can have a son that's mean i cannot have a son unless i have a girlfriend very simple which means allah is not god because yeah. if you are god you do not need to no, have no, a no, wife no 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 don't lie what no lie? It's what the verse is saying in front of me. Read it. Chapter 6, verse 101. What does it say? What does it say? Allah's not God. No, it says, how can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? So Allah is a normal man like me and you. Me and you, we cannot have children unless we have women. Correct? That doesn't make sense. 
Yeah, it doesn't make I know sense. What you're saying, ex like, ex exactly, it doesn't make sense. So why Allah saying something doesn't make sense? If he is God, he do not need a wife. So in the same time, do the Christian they they believe that God have a wife? No. So what does have to do with the, you know with the with the topic? So when Allah he says, how can he have a son if in, in when he have no concert? Obviously, he don't understand what the Christian believe if he is trying to answer the Christians. And if he is trying to answer another Christian, still that doesn't make sense too. Because God, if he wants, he can have sons. Yes, he can. You know, isn't it God? He can have anything. He can do anything. Yes. Right? So the second is God. He say, how can he? And he is the one who is questioning his ability. That means he is not God. No, 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 no. Wait, you do, you do not understand the Quran. Have you read the Quran before? First time, brother. First time. You tell me. You, Go ahead. Tell me. This is the first time. Are you, are you Muslim? I'm a Muslim. No, if I'm you, a... You are not educated on... Huh? You have not read a uh, Muslim text because if you read the text, you would know that Allah is the God throughout the whole Quran. And if you actually knew this, is that Mary, Mary had a miracle. God did a miracle to Mary. Okay, can it's, Allah it's do a miracle. can't Allah do a miracle for himself and have a son? Why would he? He says no son. It's no, one. No, but he, God, did, but he didn't say but he did not say he did not say listen, he said he just said he cannot do such a miracle. He just said the reason he cannot have a son because he don't have a girlfriend. So he said clearly, I cannot do such a miracle because simply I need a woman to have a son. You see, if he can't do a miracle, he would say, well, if I want to do that, I would do that, and that's it. But he did not say that. He said, how can I have a son unless I have a girlfriend? So he gave us right, a... Because he's eternal. He's, he's what? He's what? He can't do it. He can't do it. He's eternal, and he cannot have a son because he's not... Exactly. So if, if he cannot if he cannot have a son, that's mean he is not God. We call someone almighty no, because no. he is almighty God. He can do anything. So if there is something he cannot God, do... Okay, let me let me let let me let me ask you. So, can, are you saying there is there is something Allah cannot do, and that is having son? Yes, exactly. He cannot have a son. This is thank, you, thank you very much. So Allah cannot have a son. That means he cannot be God. Yes. Because because if Allah yes, is God, isn't 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 it you Muslim? You say if Allah wants something, he say B is going to be. Yes. Okay, so how come here he cannot say why he but say he, why he didn't say okay if I want to have a son I can say be he will be but I don't want to have but he didn't say that he said how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend within reason dude what reason within reason okay let, let me ask you within Allah Allah have a chair correct yes do he sit on it uh yeah why why not? He's God. He can do that. So is he physical? No, he's not physical. So, but you just said he sat in the chair. Yeah. So how he is not physical, but he is sitting in the chair. The chair, dude, do you not understand? The chair is not physical. It's like a non-physical chair. The chair is not physical, but you but you just said to me when you call me that you agree that the the, the throne is is carried, is carried by eight goats, and you said it's okay, it makes sense. So if the if if the if the chair is not physical, how eight goats are carrying? So the eight goats are carrying nothing. It's a miracle of Allah, alhamdulillah. What miracle? It's a miracle of so Allah. If eight goats are carrying a chair, that's the miracle. The miracle is if the chair is not. <laughs> Is by itself, but here we go. Allah, Allah, he needs someone to carry him like Santa Claus. So let, let, let me make it simple for you. I want you to, in the front of everybody, to tell me something. One thing Muhammad he said in the Quran is not a joke. It's not stupid. Go ahead. I don't, I'm not going to ask you questions because that will make it hard on you. Oh my God, dude, you're literally lying about Islam, dude. Okay, Muhammad okay. literally said to forgive. Said to forgive. Do you not know that? What Muhammad said? Sorry, your voice is cutting. I said Muhammad for said to forgive. He said to forgive the people. He, he said and to forgive. He said to forgive. Okay, but you see, even Allah, he might not forgive Muhammad. Isn't it the Quran says, may Allah forgive your sin? So how Muhammad he, so, so, so how Muhammad he can forgive? How Muhammad he can forgive? Muhammad can forgive why he's God? 
to mom and can forgive you. You're lying. You, you, you're so silly, man. You are the one is saying that, not me. How Muhammad can forgive? Who is the one can forgive? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Muhammad can for, said to for, people should forgive each other. Ah, it's in Islam. You know that, right? Okay. So how come Allah will not forgive Muhammad? Read with me, chapter eight, forty-eight, verse number two. It says, Allah. He okay. said to Allah, and may Allah forgive thee yeah. for your sin. Allah saying to Muhammad, may Allah forgive your sin. So how Allah saying to Allah, may Allah forgive your sin? Is Allah having the new Allah? How many Allah you must It's just you a, it's a mess. Huh? You reading? That's a mystery. Miss what? What Quran is that? It's not Arabic. Arabic. Well, the, not this, is, this is your Muslim website. It's called it's called QuranWow.com. And this no, is no no, no 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 read the Arabic. Do you know Arabic? Yes, of course I do. Okay, read for, <laughs> so okay, okay, read for us. Okay, read for us. Okay, read for us. You said you speak, you know Arabic. I, I'm so glad Arabic. you know Arabic. Go ahead, read Arabic for us. Go ahead, read the Arabic. Read it in no, no, you are the one who said you are the one who said you read the Arabic. Read and translate. I'm listening. I don't, dude, I'm not reading that right now. I don't have my Quran now. No, you are lying. You, you, you do not know Arabic. You are, you are lying. You don't, you don't know Arabic. You don't know Arabic. You are lying. I'm not lying, dude. Okay, read it for us. Go ahead. I have it in the screen. But I have you it. believe in Jesus. I have Jesus it in the I have it in the, I have it in the screen. Read it for us. You, either you are a liar or you read Arabic. You said you read Arabic. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Read read the Arabic. Why you are lying to me? You know apologize for lying and I will forgive you. Okay, I lied. You lied, okay. I lied. I don't know Arabic. So because you are a Muslim, you are allowed to lie. Thank you very much. That is a clear proof that Islam is a fraud. Now let us go back to the verse then. It says that Allah said to Allah, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. So what kind of Muhammad is the one who is sinner? It says to him, forgive your sin in the past and the one to come in the future. Muhammad have an open license for sin. What do you think? Dude, Zakir Naik would destroy you, knock you out of the park. Oh, Zakir Naik is here. Let me, let, 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 uh, Zakir Naik, can you talk to this guy? Brother Tatar, private Muslim, and then you will never me. I am going to get you butted. So now you are asking Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, he don't dare even to call me. Not even for a second. Don't turn away and hide between his legs. Answer me and be a man. What kind of God he say to God? Allah saying to Allah that Allah may forgive your sin. Why Allah saying may forgive your sin? Why is that sure? And Allah speaking to who? I don't know, dude. But you are the one who said I'm lying. Just we can. You are the one who called me, and you are the one who said I am lying. So I'm trying to you know, reason with you. There's things we don't understand in the Quran, man. Oh, so, the, so, the, so, so the Quran nobody understands it. Do you think Zakir and I can understand the Quran too? Zakir Naik understand it, dude. Well, okay, okay, hold on. Zakir Naik, they ask him why a Muslim woman she can't be a prophet. He said the following, and just quoting him, he said, "The brother and sister, the sister asked him question: Why a Muslim woman he can't be a prophet? And he's right. In Islam, Muslim woman he can't be a prophet because if he became a prophet, he had to do what we do, and he had to bend over. And if he bend over, you know that that will disturb the congregation. So Zakir Naik, he said, if a Muslim woman she became a prophet, you Muslim will look at her ass. And that is not right. Is right. That, is that correct? You agree with him? No, 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 no. You understand that? If you understand that around Surah 929, what does it say? Read it right now. Why you are jumping to 929? Why you want to change about what Zakir Naik said? About I, if, if you see, um, according to Zakir Naik, Muslim, when they see the ass of a woman, they forget about Allah. This is how easy to make Muslim forget about Allah. Do you agree or not, Zakir Naik? No, no, no. No, no. Well, this is what he said. Muhammad, go, right, go right now and search Those? for Zakir uh -huh. Naik. He been asked why, why a Muslim woman she can't be a prophet. This is exactly what he said. You're lying, dude. You're lying. Do you want me to play? Do you want to play the you're video for you? I can even play find, it. You're lying. You're I, making can, this. I can even find the video and play it for you. You're a liar, dude. What, are you going to keep saying to me you're lying, you're lying? You are. Prove it. Prove it right now. I because just, you are lying to the entire group. A second ago, you are lying a, to a, everyone. A second ago, you, a, a second ago, you admitted that you were lying to me about knowing Arabic, correct? So until now, the only one we prove he's a liar is you. 
And I will get the truth out right now that Islam is the truth. Oh, okay. Tell me how Islam is the Prophet truth. Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Okay, you said uh, Prophet Muhammad. You know, is he a prophet? Of course he is. It's in the Quran. Uh, okay, give me a prophecy, Muhammad. Is it in the Quran? Go ahead. Um, I don't know him off the top of my head, but he did a lot of them. So you are a follower of a prophet, but you do not know any of his prophecy in the Quran. I do. I just don't remember them right now. Give me one. Come on, you don't remember even one. He have many. You should have many. I mean, all those many. Not even one is stuck he in does. You know, I don't if, if none of his miracles is stuck in your head, it's mean he have none. Come on. I mean, if somebody make a blind see, I will never forget this. If I, if someone makes somebody come from the death, I will never forget this. But obviously, because Muhammad, he don't even play. Muhammad. He don't even know how to play football, my oh friend. My God. So what? No, no, no. Okay, so tell me what he did. No, 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 no. no. Okay, tell me what he did. Muhammad does no. He doesn't do miracles. He's a prophet. Ah, so how come Jesus do miracles? Are you saying prophet don't do, do miracle, but God do miracles? So Jesus must be God then. God is miracle through them. Well, no, you just say it. Muhammad, he don't do miracles. you Muhammad is doing You just say it. Muhammad don't do miracle. He is a prophet. Jesus, he, he did he did miracle. The Quran says that. Oh, he didn't do miracles. God did miracles through him. No, it says, I resurrect for you from the grave, people, dead people. I make the blind see. And it, says, that, it says, no he problem. So how come Jesus, he have that, but Muhammad don't have it? If, if Jesus is a prophet and Muhammad is a prophet, so what the problem? Muhammad lost his hair? He was bored like Sam Shamu? Because Jesus was doing miracles, dude. Allah was using him. He was using him. But so why Allah, did, why, him. why Allah did not use Muhammad? What happened? Because he wasn't, that wasn't the point. The point was that he would teach the people about the final revelation but and did, the corrupted but Christian not, scriptures. But he did not teach us anything. You know, Muhammad, even he took an oath in the, in the Christian scriptures. So, and, uh, and, and, the, and the Quran confirmed. And the Quran, okay, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, can, can, can you read for me a verse? Can you read for me a verse in the Quran? If I, if I give you a verse in the Quran. By the way, where are you from? From which country? Are you from Pakistan? Well, huh? I'm from Palestine. From Palestine? Where is that? Where? See, you don't even know what that is. See, you, well, you, know you, what? you are ignorant. Because my friend, according to brother, the Quran, brother, brother, because, because according to the Quran, brother. there's no such a word Palestine. Did Allah mention the word Palestine? I can show you the word Palestine in the Bible. But Allah in the Quran, all of it, he never said Palestine. And look, guess what? In chapter 5, verse number 21, Allah, he ordered Musa to kill all the Palestinian. What do you think? Chapter 5, verse number 21, and the verse in the front of you. Allah, no, 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 brother. Allah told Moshe to create the Mossad and to attack Hamas and kill all the Palestinians. And the verse in the front of you, prove me liar. Here we go. Chapter 5, verse 21. It's in the front of you. It's in a lie. Uh, my friend, read the verse. Brother, chapter brother, five, chapter brother, 5, verse 21. Read the verse, my friend. I'm just showing you what it's in the Quran. The whole, the whole Quran, the whole Quran, Allah never said the word Palestine. This is in translation only. It says, Allah, he ordered Brother, Musa. Brother, what is your religion? Uh, 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 what is my religion? I don't know. My name is a Christian prince. I must be yes. Hindu. I must be Hindu. So, my friend, focus with me. So, all my people, enter the holy land, which Allah has assigned to you. Allah, he ordered Allah, he order Musa. Allah, he ordered Moshe to go and attack and kill the Palestinians. So, why? what do you say to Allah who ordered Moshe to kill you? Dude, that's not real. You're make, show, show the verse in the chat. Because you are lying to the entire... I am showing it. Here we go. It's on the screen. Everybody, not... everybody can see it, my friend. Everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. Here we go. Um, look, it says, All my people enter the Holy Land. Look, he calls Palestine holy, which Allah assigned to you, and turn not back. Okay. For then you will be returned. Okay. See? You cut the verse. You cut the verse. I did not lie. cut. I did not cut. cut he, the ordered, verse. I he ordered them to go and do jihad and kill the Palestinian. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Brother, brother, it's let in us, the Quran. Okay, let us read. Let us let, the let us read the verse after it. Let us read the verse after it. Let us let us see the uh, the verse after it. You, actually, do you, do you see the word? It says in fight. Do you see the word fight? Here we go. In front of you, in fight. And turn not your back in fight, huh? For you will be returned as a loser. So Allah, He ordered the Jews to go and kill all the Palestinians, and He warned them not to turn their back and fight; otherwise, they will be losers. Do you see it? I see it. Okay. So Allah, He ordered the Jews to kill the Palestinian. What is your opinion as a Palestinian about Maybe, that? Me. 
What's the context? Context though. What well, context? This is the context. Go and kill the Palestinian and take their land. Allah assigned the land for you. The Quran, the Quran says that the land, this is not your land, my friend. According to the Quran, this is not your land. This is the land of the Jews and the verse in the front of you. No, no, no. No, no. What that's, do you mean? No, no, no. It's, it says, it says, enter the holy land which Allah assigned into you, assigned into you. Do you see the word assigned? Allah assigned the land not to the Palestinian. He assigned it to the Jews, to Moshe, to Jack Shalom, to Netanyahu, to the Mossad. Why, dude? Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, one second. If you read the next verse, it says, enter the holy land, uh -huh. Palestine, uh -huh. holy land. He uh -huh. it holy. Exactly. He, told, he called it holy land because this is the land of the Jews. You know, the, the Jews are the, the they have, the, they, there's, there is a reason for to call it holy land because Jesus will be coming there. So enter the holy land, which is supposed to be between two bracket Palestine and kill all the Palestinian in the fight. And then the Jews, they said, we will not go and kill the Palestinian. You go and fight them. OK. And then because they said only two men, they came to Moses and they said, we want to join ISIS and attack the, the Palestinian and kill them. Only two. One, his name is Joshua, and the other, the other one, his name is Caleb. You know, he, they said to Moses, let, yes, "Let us assault them. Let us assault them through the gate, and and we will have victory." And then, because they refuse, Allah He made the Jews lose their direction, their GPS broken, so they cannot enter the land for forty years because they refuse to kill the Palestinian. Hold on, hold on, one 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 second, brother. I believe, I I I I I support ISIS. I know you support ISIS, you know, for, for sure you support ISIS. Yeah, you're a potato. They so, they're fighting for us. You see, you read the Quran. You, if you read the Quran. You, 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 you support ISIS, but you call me brother. How stupid are you? ISIS, they will not accept to call me brother because the Quran says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. So how you call me brother? Are you stupid or what? You, 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 you are bound to hell fire. You are the worst of creature. You are the worst of the creature. Okay, no problem. But and Allah I'm, will destroy but, you. But still, I am smart and you are stupid. And Allah is under my shoes. What you can do about it? Here we go. This, this, this Allah. Okay, let, let me ask you. Did, you. did you kiss the black stone? Did you kiss the black stone or not yet? I cannot hear you. Did you kiss the black stone or not yet? Uh, yes, I did. I went, I've been to Mecca. Okay, how the black stone smell? Uh, you read the Quran, he destroyed the pagan this, temples. But then, the the question, Kaaba, then how the black stone smell? I'm asking you, how the black stone smell? What, how the black stone smell? How does it smell? Yeah, you, you said you kiss it. I don't remember. I was thinking about it. Oh, I wasn't thinking so how about come in the, in, the, in the video they have a guy he keeps spraying around the black stone? Obviously, it smells bad. You will see. In I don't the, remember it smelling like anything. You I was. Will, you, you I was see, at a time you, you will, okay. You will see in the video. You will see a policeman. He keep spraying. You know, he have a spray in his hand. He keeps spraying. You can watch any video. And, and by the way, why the black stone look in the shape of a woman? Private part. Do you know? You keep making up stuff, dude. No, look at the picture. This is the picture of the black stone. Gonna... Look at the picture of the black stone. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not making up stories. Here we go. This is the picture of the black stone in front of your eyes. Is that a shape of a black, of a woman private part or not? Yeah. Okay. So why it's in that shape? Let me see. No, 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 brother. You you are making this up. It's not true. My friend, the picture, uh, the, the photo is in the front need, of you. I, I, the photo, the photo is in a, the, the photo is in the front of you. And by the way, I'm not saying it looked bad. I mean, come on, this uh, you know, this is nice uh, women private part, but it's, but a little bit it's big to be honest with you. So why you kiss the black stone? Because it's part of the Quran. It's part of them. the black stone. is part of the Quran. Okay, show me where in the Quran Allah He says there's a black stone. Go ahead. There is a verse. I'll give you a very. I'll give you a verse. Okay, give me a verse. I will wait for you for the coming ten years. You will not find a verse speaking about the black stone. Where you get this from? Trust me, brother. I know a lot of the Quran, and you do not. Okay, I'm learning from you. Especially you support ISIS, so you must be smart. And by the way, I'm scared now because you said, you said to me you support ISIS. I'm really terrified. Last time I heard somebody saying I support ISIS, I went under the table. Uh, and, 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 huh? 
It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, this The message of Allah, peace and blessings be of Allah mm. be upon him, said, The black stone came down from paradise. Mm. Boom, Zakir Naik, I win. Boom. Allah Akbar. That is Alhamdulillah. Boom. Abdul, but you, but you said to me, you will, uh -huh. find, you will find me a verse from the Quran. This is Hadith. It's the same thing, dude. It's like, it's different, but it still counts. Oh, okay. So the Hadith is the same as the Quran now? In the Quran. Okay, let me ask you. They're trustworthy. Okay. Is it true that your prophet, he said that the black stone uh, uh, have eyes and have tongue? I cannot hear you. Is it true that the black stone have eyes and tongue? Yes. Okay, why? That is the way Allah intended. What do you mean? No, it says the black stone is going to talk, the black stone have eyes and and see, correct? Yes. Okay. Why? Talks, what, 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 yeah. what the black stone will say? Dude, I don't know that. Only Allah, the great the greater one knows so nobody knows only allah correct only allah only allah. only allah but muhammad he said he knows well that's true so muhammad is allah then here we go this is the this is muhammad saying that the black stone is coming in the in this going to come in, in the day of resurrection is going to have an eyes and tongue do you believe in that yeah okay now let us go back to the picture. I want you to look with me. Of course. Okay. Okay. No problem. I'm going. I, I want you to look with me, please. As long as you believe in this. So let me let me do this. This is the black stone. Are you looking at the at you too? Brother, brother, I'm looking. I'm looking. All right. So according to your prophet, this is what will happen exactly. And I want you to focus with me. The black stone is going to have eyes. Okay. Okay. We'll so have, what? We'll have eyes. Here we go. We are drawing eyes. And the black stone is going to have a mouth. Yeah. Look, you can see it. Look. Look at those two spots. Okay. You see those two spots at the top? Those are eyes. Yeah. And the black stone is going to have tongue. All right. Do you think this is really true? I mean, don't you see how funny this is? How stupid this story? I mean, the black stone have eyes, have tongue. <laughs> what is that? You know, what do you think? This is this is for cartoon or this is for real? Do you believe in this really? Huh? Look, look, look. At it. <laughs> it's hard to understand. I I see where you're coming from. Like, it doesn't make sense. But I think Allah knows. Like, Allah, I don't know, but Allah, the Allah, greater one, Allah, he knows. Allah knows what? It says in the hadith that the black stone is going to speak and witness for what you did as sin. So Allah do not know. Allah is going to ask the black stone to tell what oh, you did. Oh, then. Allah? No, 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 no. Uh, you could have seen the kind of After I have to stop you right now. You okay, 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 stop me. Go ahead. And, okay, tell me what? No, listen, listen. When the Quran says it, that means it may be metaphor. Metaphor. You understand what a metaphor is, brother? No, it's not a metaphor. A second ago, you told me, so what? It's an eyes and tongue. It's not a metaphor. It has real eyes and real well, tongue. And now, you saying, and now you are saying you metaphor. It. Come on. I know people, they are laughing at you, my friend. Come on. You are yeah, ISIS. Saying, you are supporter of ISIS. You, are, yeah, you can do better than make contradiction. Well, contradiction for what? So why? So what the benefit Allah, of the black stone? Allah, give me. Okay. Do the black stone have a benefit or not? Do the black stone have a benefit or not? Is it useful or not yes. useful? Okay, so it's not metaphorical. So then it's it must be real. So uh, listen. So the black stone. Do we have even black stone? Huh? Do we do we even have a black stone? Yes. No, we don't. Inside the stone, there's or only there's only few rocks. Let me show you. There's no black stone. You Muslims are you know you are you are fooling yourself. This is the picture in front of you. And you can go and watch videos in YouTube, search for the black stone maintenance. This is a little tiny rock. This is a tiny rock. This is a tiny rock, a tiny rock, a tiny rock, a tiny yes. rock. Okay, so what is the stone? Little tiny thing. And the rest is rocks. You must have kissing the rocks. You are kissing stones. No, no, no. What is the stone? No, okay, no, show no, me. No, no, okay, no, 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 no. Where is the stone? 
This is your Muslim website. Look, they are showing you. They are. They are showing you. This is your. This is your Muslim website. They are showing you the rocks. Look with me. They are showing you. They are just a little tiny rocks. They are. They are little tiny rocks, and there's no. And there's no. And there's no rocks the same as the rocks that the kids they throw in the street. So where is the where is that? So how Allah He sent the stone from heaven, big biggest stone from heaven, or He sent little stones? Allah He throws small rocks to you like this. What? No, no, no. Allah, no, 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 no. Allah sent Photoshop, Photoshop, Photoshop. What Photoshop? Allah He sent Photoshop. Photoshop. What Photoshop? Photoshop this, is, dude. this is your Kaaba, my friend. You can go check it out. You know. No, no, no. You, you listen. No, you listen to me right now. Look at that rock. Look at it. That's clearly Photoshop. You made that. You I, made it. This is in to this, this, that this is you. this is in Google, my friend. I searched for black stone picture. Here we go. Let me show you. This is in Google. I have nothing to do with it. A fake Here we go. What, what fake? What fake? Those are Islamic Islamic, Islamic website. Those are Islamic. Those are Islamic website. I have nothing to do with them. What Photoshop, my friend? And you can go right now. You can go right now to YouTube. Right. You can go right now to YouTube and you can search for Blackstone maintenance. Maintenance. They do maintenance for it because they have to put the wax together. So how this stone came from heaven and then Allah, he noticed that the stone is gone. Can't he send you a better stone, bigger stone or renew it? Why he don't protect the stone? So look what we have now. We have little tiny rocks. And the rest is a wax. No, no, well, I can um, uh, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, I know. Think I, about it. I don't know what to say. I don't. I know what you, you do not know what to say. I know that it's like eating hummus when it's not hummus time. So look at this religion. You just told me that Allah He sent a black stone from heaven, and then this is going to witness for you in the day of resurrection. It's going to have a tongue and eyes, but now it's many stones. So. Which stone is going to? They are tiny rocks. Those so are, all of them they will have tongues. But but the but the hadith says that what Muhammad spoke about it was a big stone, one piece. Now what we have is small tiny stones. So why Allah did not preserve his stone if it's important Islam? Um. Well, no, maybe that's the stone broke. Exactly. The stone broke. Exactly, brother. The black stack because uh, Al Qurmuti. He took the black stone, he destroyed the stone, he used it as a bathroom stone for 21 years. And then the Muslims, and he challenged Allah, he said to him, Allah, where are you? Where is your birds? Here we go. I destroyed the Kaaba, I took the stone, what you can do about it? And nothing happened, there's no bird came. You remember the chapter of the elephant in the Quran, where Allah, he sent birds to destroy the yeah. army of the elephant? What's happening to you? Are you okay? What was that sound? You're lying. I can't. You are screening yourself. Are you in the bathroom? No, no, what no, 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 no. What? What? No, 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 no. I know that. You are lying. What? No, no, no. You can search it on YouTube. You will see the no, shake. No, no. You, you will see the shake speaking about the story how Al Qurmuti destroyed the black stone. Search Al Qurmuti destroying the black stone, destroying sorry the Kaaba. I have a prayer to do. I'm gonna this prayer in the call. Huh? Mm -hmm. You are making weird sounds. You are, lying. are you okay? Listen, I can prove it. Go to new topic. New topic. New topic. Why are you obsessed with this rock? Why are you obsessed with the rock? Give a new topic. What? Give a new topic. New topic. Okay, give me. You give me a new topic. Go ahead. Okay, I give you a new topic. Show me in the Bible where it says Jesus was God. Red letters. That's wonderful. I will show you from the Bible that Jesus is God. Isn't it? Isn't it? Your Quran says that Jesus is alive. Yes, he was alive. He was. Okay. Then God, he ascended to heaven. Is Allah is alive? Allah's life. How Allah can be alive if He have nobody? He's alive. He have nobody. How He can be alive? What? Allah have body or He don't have body? He is alive. God has always been alive. So He can be alive without having body? Of course. Okay. Jesus was the same a, with your God. Jesus was a man or he was not a man? Jesus was man. Okay, so Jesus now is with Allah according to Muslims, and he is in heaven and he is alive, correct? Okay, so how yes. how Jesus correct. is what what is Jesus doing in heaven if he is not God? Tell me, go ahead. Why is there? He is praying for Allah. He is praying with Allah. Allah He's is bowing yeah. before Allah, like all the prophets. Huh? Where it says that? Where it says he is bowing for Allah He's in heaven? Allah. Where, where it says? 
No, I'm asking you if, uh, 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 as the Quran says that Allah will take his prophet and everybody good in the day of resurrection to heaven. How come Jesus is the only one is there and we are here? Why he, why he left so early? Because Jesus was like the most important prophet. Uh, so he's more important than Muhammad then, huh? Yes. So why you follow Muhammad? Why you don't follow Jesus then? You just said yes, guys. Did you hear it? Jesus is more important than Muhammad. So you should not follow Muhammad. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Don't twist my words. Don't twist my words. In the Quran, it says that Jesus did more miracles. He did more things. That is true. However, hmm. Muhammad gave the final revelation of God. What, so he is the most important the final, today. Where is the final revelation of God? Where is it? Where we can find it? The final revelation is Muhammad. Where, where is the final revelation? Where we can find it? In the Quran, he, Muhammad gave the final revelation. We don't have the Quran of Muhammad. Do you have it? This is this is not even the Quran of Uthman. We do not know this is the Quran of who. This is what. This, what the, yes, we do. No, we don't. God, the, Allah. You don't have a book. Not you, one you, letter. You don't have the book. One of, word. You don't have the book of Uthman. Deserved. You don't have the book of Muhammad. You don't have the book of the Sahaba. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you. If the Quran is the word of the narrative. Listen. What's your name, by the way? What's your name? What is my name? Yeah. Hamas. Your name is Hamas? Your name is Hamas? Yes, brother. Okay, don't tell them that Netanyahu is here. You know, they will run away. Correct. So listen, as long as your name Hamas, let us give you, give you some, some spank. So if Allah, he sent Quran, have you ever heard of a stupid book of God? He says stupid things as an example. If I say to you, how Allah created the baby, do you know how Allah created the baby? No, no, no. Hold on. I can explain. I can explain. explain. I can explain the Quran right now. Okay. Explain. Allah, he speak about how Allah, yeah. created, <laughs> how Allah created the baby. Actually, you know what? The baby is maybe hard for you. What is your education? You are from Hamas, so you have no education. Let me show you something else. Let me show you something. Something. Else. Is, it, is, it true, is it true that Allah, he created the stars so he can shoot shaitan in his ass? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but shaitan, he live in the earth. Correct? Correct. Okay, so, so how you can shoot shaitan in the earth with a star? Star is way bigger than the earth. So how we can shoot shaitan in his ass by a star, and the star is so big, which means in order to shoot shaitan in the earth, you have to destroy the whole earth. No, no, no. Listen, the shaitan is Satan. Yeah, shaitan is Satan. Thank you. You're very smart. Genius, He's man. He's evil. Yeah. You speak languages too. I mean, he noticed he's that Shaitan is Satan. No problem. He's evil. So I'm asking you now. I'm not talking about him evil or not. I'm saying the Quran says in chapter 67, verse number five, that Allah created the stars so he can shoot Shaitan in his ass if he tried to leave the earth. One moment. I'm looking at the chat. You guys need to stop disrespecting Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Yes, yeah, guy. Stop this disrespecting guy, the prophet. This guy from Hamas. Just be careful. Don't respect him, please. Hamas. You know he will call Hamas. Yeah. Anyway. So now answer me. Uh, uh, how Allah will shoot Shaitan in the earth with the star? If the star come to the earth, all the earth will be destroyed. I don't know. It's a, a, a miracle of Allah. It's a miracle. Alhamdulillah, huh? it's, it's a miracle. A miracle. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's the miracle of as, as the Israeli army. He shoot Hamas and, you know, the Hamas keep shouting, doing nothing. Yeah. So it's a miracle and they claim victory after that. So you have to explain because the star is so big, big. I mean, it's bigger. It's bigger than the ass of uh, what his name, uh, uh, the, the leader of Hamas. Do you, know, do you see how big his ass, man, my friend? This guy, he eat all the food of of Hamas, the money, a lot of money. You have four wives. No, no, no. So, no, 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 so no, no, no. how you can no, shoot Shaitan? No, no, no. How you can shoot Shaitan and he live in the <laughs> earth with a star? Star, it's a star. How you can shoot him with a star? I don't know. How, Dude, I don't know these how, how big the Shaitan is, according to your knowledge, as a Hamas member? I don't know. Isn't your prophet he said of Allah. Isn't it your prophet he said Shaitan he sleep in your nose? It's in a miracle of Allah. The question isn't it your prophet said Shaitan he sleep in your nose? The prophet is real. Did you not no 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 
Do you understand Muhammad? Do you understand his truth? I'm, I'm asking you again. Is he's it, prophesying one is day. It, is it, is it, is it, is it your, your prophet says shaitan is sleeping in your nose? The shaitan is the devil. No problem, but where he sleep according to your prophet? I do not know. Okay, your prophet, he said he sleep in your nose. So shaitan is not even in the size of a mosquito. His waist is smaller. So how come Allah, he need a star to shoot shaitan? Brother, 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 the stars are tiny, hmm. but Satan, he is not material. He's not a physical being. He no, Shaitan, are, are, you, are you saying your prophet is a liar? Here we go. Your prophet saying Shaitan, he's sleeping no. inside your nose, my friend. Listen carefully. Shaitan, he's sleeping in your nose. This is why you Muslim, when you wake up, you have to blow your nose three times. Correct? Do you blow your nose three sure. times? True. Okay. Correct. The Prophet said right. the Prophet of Allah who is a big member of Hamas, you know, they give him a good job. He cleaned the, you know, the, the, the Jewish, uh, uh, you know, the uh, uh, minister. And, you know, they said to him, Prophet of Allah, why, uh, you know, what do you think about wake up in the morning? We find boogers. So Muhammad, he find an answer for the boogers. He is the only booger discovery uh, prophet. He said to them, the reason you have boogers, because shaitan is sleeping on your nose. I don't know. Okay, why why you have why you have wax in your ears? I do not know. It's in the Quran. No, uh, in the Quran. No, it's not in the Quran. Why why Shaitan he? I mean, what? Oh, sorry. Why you have wax in your uh, in your ears? Um, um, I don't know. Is it true because Shaitan he piss in your ears? No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Who who said that? No, 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 no. You liar. Why is it? Are you saying I'm lying because this is stupid? So stupid. It's hard to believe, right? No, 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 no. lie. Yeah, but you you are saying I'm lying because it's so stupid. I agree with you, correct? It's so stupid. Correct. Okay, correct. So I agree, guys. It's so stupid to believe in such a thing. Here we go. It's your prophet who said that. Read it. This is Sahih Bukhari. The prophet he told the people that when you sleep. You know, Shaitan, he urinate in your ears. Do you see the hadith in the screen? What? What? I don't wait. I don't see. It. I'm... What do you mean? What? It's in front of you. Come on. And you said you agreed. <laughs> you said this is stupid. This is stupid. You said that. You cannot take it back. Yeah. Okay. Read it. Um. That, no, that's fake. That's Photoshop. What uh, Photoshop? This is Sunnah.com, my friend. Stop. This is Hadith. This is your Islamic website, my friend. This is very Islamic. This is terrorist website. Don't say that. Come on. You know, the, the, I don't trust uh, it. Anja Jibril will, will be upset from you. And then you go to the bathroom and you he will block you, you know? Like what the Prophet he said. I'm not. I do not trust the hadith. Uh, no, 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 brother, brother, brother. Do not cut up the Quran. What do you mean do you don't trust hadith? Quran, is, is, now you are getting is, Isn't it you who gave me a hadith just two, two, two minutes ago? You, you gave me a hadith. Are committing okay, let, let, me, okay, let me ask you. Do shaitan have kids? No. So how the Quran says, are you going to worship shaitan and his children? His children are like people who do evil. Uh, no, it says the children of the human and children of shaitan. That's demons. In Islam, there's no demon. Muslim, you believe in genie, not in demon. It's the same thing. No, it's not the same. No. You don't understand Islam. No, I don't understand. That's why I'm talking to you, my friend, and I'm taking advantage of having you. You don't understand until now. <laughs> That because because you are taking advantage of your existence with us, so we are having a great time. We are learning from it. I mean, me, me myself. After I spoke to you, I cannot say I am the same person as like before you call me. So like, I'm very thankful for you. What's the punishment? Huh? And you did in an Islamic state, and we're proud of that. You will, you will punish me for what I did in Islamic state. Which is lying what, about Islam. Which Islamic state is that? Where is Islamic state? We went there. We did not find them. We send our soldiers and all ISIS, they run away like potatoes. What Islamic State? You don't have Islamic State. 
It is us who protect Saudi Arabia. I can prove it. It is us who protect even even in your in, in your in the one you call it Palestine, you don't have a state. Just to give me a break, my friend. What are you talking about? State you since when you have a state? You don't have a state. You don't even have a potato. You have shaitan, he piss in your ears. And this is why you cannot hear me. Listen, do you see the do you see the verse in the front of you? It says, Are you going to worship Shaitan and his children as gods instead of me? True. Okay. How Shaitan he got how Shaitan he got children? He have sex with who? I don't know. It's a Alhamdulillah. It's a miracle of Allah. Alhamdulillah, I don't know. I mean, that's you say Alhamdulillah, I don't know. What does that mean? Have you ever of a person he said Alhamdulillah, I Alhamdulillah, I am a fool? So what do you mean Alhamdulillah, I don't know? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. No, I, if we read the interpretation, they say that Allah created for Shaitan a penis in his right leg and a vagina in his leg, in the left leg. So he shake this with this and he do nikah to himself. Do you agree with that? No. No? You don't like the story of your prophet and his companions? You think they are lying? No. What do you mean no? No yes, no you what? I mean, do you accept the story that he have penis and vagina and then he have sex oh. with himself and then he laid, and then he laid in eggs? Do you agree with that? Um, uh, this is really confusing. Like you obviously know a lot more than this than me, but hmm. I think we don't know. Do you think I know more than Allah? No. Okay. You know, they asked Muhammad, they asked Muhammad, how many people who were in the Kiev? Do you know what Allah he said? No. Okay. Let me show you the verse. I'm shutting your phone off. I had enough. You don't pull crap this time of night. This is your wife? You did not wash the dishes, don't you? This is the prophet. Did you wash the dishes? They are screaming at you. You did not wash the dishes before you call me, don't you? It's okay. So listen, it says that the people, they ask the prophet, how many people did they slept in the cave? Do you know how many people? The people of the cave, you know, this, this, the chapter, I give up. The chapter is called I the give chapter. Up. You give up what? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. And if you subscribe, don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will give you double deeds. If you subscribe to someone is bad, supposedly like me, and then you unsubscribe because you Allah will double your deed by erasing the bad deeds. So don't forget that. Subscribe to me. This is a bad deed if you are a Muslim. Then unsubscribe. That is a double deed. So if you like to earn double deeds, www.abdul.w, w, w, who have no idea what they are talking about, cannot find one Abdul in the world, you know what he's talking about. Zakarnaik don't dare even to say hello to me. W, w, w. Dicky, 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 dicky. What a bunch of kids. Who is next? Our pal talk is open. If you are a sheikh, we want someone as a sheikh because now they might say, okay, this guy, he didn't know much. Where is the one who knows much? Can we find the one who knows much? Please. No, this is his wife. You know, she was screaming at him. <clears throat> You know, those Muslim Middle Eastern women, they are they are scary, you know. They're very aggressive. Middle Eastern men, they will see them, they have long mustache, big beard. Inside the house, he is a chicken, and he wash dishes. And where are you going? And yeah, they will go and see my friends and sit down. 
Go right now and search Morocco, domestic violence in Morocco. When you search domestic violence in Morocco, you think it is going to be men beating the women. Surprise, surprise, it's the opposite. More than 80% of the cases, it is women beating the husbands in Morocco. Go check it out. Uh, and do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Uh, killer, 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 farjaha, farjaha. The word farj is her private part, you know. Yeah, so, what do you want? I don't know. Very bad, stupid language, you know. What kind of a prophet he speak in such a way? Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> he is texting me again. Guys, he keeps saying to me, why you lie about Islam? You believe it? Look, look. <laughs> why you lie about Islam, huh? Why? Tell the truth. Yeah, the word farjaha, al farj is the vagina. This is why in the Quran it says, والذين لفروجهم حافظون ويحفظوا فروجهم see it? chapter 24 verse number 30 chapter 23 verse number 5 chapter 21 verse number 91 this is about Mary hmm. who is a Muslim would like to call us this guy he keeps saying to me lie in the text let me call him back again <coughs> Why you are calling me liar? You are calling me liar. Why? Because I want you to tell everyone that the truth about Allah. Okay, I, I, you know, I, I, I was asking you about the truth and you fail. I don't know you. Okay, help me. Tell me the truth about Allah. Go ahead. Who is Allah? Allah is the one and only creator of heaven and earth. Okay, he is the only creator. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So how Allah, he says that he is the best of the creators. Mute YouTube. He's the only Mute. creator. Mute YouTube, yeah. He says he is the best of the creators. So did, are you saying Allah did lie? Yeah, he's the best of the creators, but there's only one creator. How he can be the best of the creators if he is the only creator? He, he, um, no, 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 no. Wait, hold on. I, um, I don't know. No, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Is that the song you keep saying to me? If if he is, so is Allah saying I am I am the best of gods? Because I ask you, who is Allah? Wait, he no, said, no. You said to me, he is the, you know, he is the creator. Okay. So he's saying he is the best of the creators. That's mean he is the best of gods. So there's many gods in Islam. No, one God, one God, one God. But okay, how, but how he is how he is one god but there is other creators so he's saying i am the best of the creators so he is the best because you're a creator just make you god okay but okay if he is a creator that make him god that's mean jesus is god because jesus in the quran says he created from the mother bird no 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 what but do you mean no the quran lying, says that lying, i create for you from the mother bird and when i fashion him i brood into him do you understand the prophet muhammad Nobody understands the Prophet Muhammad is a crazy man. He's not crazy. Dude, you're making me really mad. What? I'm getting angry. You are getting, Don't disrespect you are the getting, Prophet you are, Muhammad. Peace be upon him. No, hold on. Okay. The, the Quran says Muhammad is a crazy six times in the Quran. Don't you know that? No, no. Okay, hold on. No. Here we go. No. Do you know what the word crazy in Arabic? It's Majnoon. Hmm? No, 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 no. Majnoon, chapter 15, verse number 6. Majnoon. Lie. Majnoon, 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 Majnoon. Prophet Muhammad, so, peace be upon him, is the truth. Yeah, Lie. more than six times, actually. So, is he Majnoon or not? He's not crazy. Okay, well, if he is not a crazy, okay, let me ask you. This has nothing to do with with anything now. You know, because you are from Hamas, so you, you mostly are a doctor. 
Sometimes I imagine myself having sex with my wife, but in fact, I do not. What do you think? Um, I mean, that's human nature, sinful nature. No, but you know, I think I did it, but in fact, I did not do it. Do you think I'm crazy? No. No? If somebody he think he is doing having sex with his wife, but in fact he never did. What is that? Hallucinations are not crazy. So what it is? You, uh, dude, I don't understand the comment that well. So what, so so what it is? If, if you said hallucina hallucination is not crazy. So if somebody have a hallucination, what he have? What, why are you are screaming yourself? What's wrong? Are you? Do you have a, like a? Take it easy. So, what do you think about mm -hmm. hallucination? Mm -hmm. So, you're, you are you saying your prophet he used his uh, hallucinating? Because it's the story is yeah. about your prophet. Ah, oh, yeah. So, how you can trust him to be a prophet? This guy, he don't, you cannot trust him even for what he see see in the in the bedroom. So, how we can trust him that he, he saw, dies? Huh? How we can trust him that he was seeing an angel if even when he have sex, it was not true? He does know. He knows. What he knows? You understand? What what he knows what? You understand? He did not know. The guy, know that. the guy he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. So he know nothing. This guy is, uh, you know, crazy. When the angel come to Muhammad, um, there's no witnesses. Nobody saw the angel. Nobody know this an angel. So how we can trust that Muhammad was seeing angel even even if his sex? There's no witnesses. I mean, have you ever heard of a man he have sex, but there is no witnesses for his sex? Do you understand this alone? It's so what? Fresh. Look at the context. Uh, look, okay, okay, look at the contact. Look, it says here, the prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wife. In fact, he did not. So what do you think? Aisha was lying. Aisha, Aisha, Aisha lied. was lying, Aisha. You know what? Since first time I saw Aisha, I noticed that she is a liar. Um, so me and you now, we agree. Aisha is, a liar. Aisha is a liar. Okay, we know. Aisha, she is really a liar. No, 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 no. What? No, no, no. You are the one who said that, not me. You take it out of context. What do you mean? You are the Listen, one who said Aisha, that. You are the one who said Aisha is a liar. How, lies, I, how I can take it out of context? It's you who said a second ago, Aisha is a liar. Only one time. Only one. So what if you say it once or twice? Who care? You said Aisha is a liar. You said it once, twice, three times. Who care? You said Aisha is a liar. So, but don't you think if Aisha is a liar, that's me, Muhammad is a liar? He's lying. Huh? She lying. Dude, don't trust her. Trust a real prophet. Aisha is not a prophet. She can lie. Oh, okay. Well, but this is, will be a problem. Isn't it the Quran says, Wal Khabithatu Lil Khabithi? Which means liars. What does the Quran say? Aisha always told you. No, the, you just said Aisha is a liar. But if she is a liar, that's mean Muhammad is a yeah. liar too, because the Quran says, "No, liars marry liars, cheater marry cheaters, uh, filthy marry filthy." You know, your Quran says that. Yeah, but he died before cha they. Chapter twenty. Never married. Chapter yeah. twenty-four. Chapter twenty-four, verse number twenty-six. So. Bad people marry from bad bad women. So if Aisha, she is a liar. Okay, I can explain. Okay. I can explain. If I can Aisha, explain. You will explain, no problem. The sheep ate the, listen, listen. Uh -huh. The sheep ate the verse. The sheep ate the verse that explains that. The sheep ate the verse? <laughs> yes. Okay. Why are you laughing at yourself now? I'm, dude, I'm losing my mind. Dude, the sheep ate the verse that explains that part. Okay, so so what does this have to do with my topic now? You said Aisha is a liar, and the Quran think, says, and the Quran says that bad women they marry from bad men, and bad men marry from bad women. So if Aisha was a bad woman, that means Muhammad is a bad man. Chapter no. twenty-four, verse number twenty-six. It's in the front of you. No. Why, why, you don't, why you don't ask your wife? Why you don't why, why you don't ask your wife to come help you? Get off the phone! 
I get. I, I'm not, Why? Why? I'm not playing with you. People need to go to sleep, but they have friggin' jobs. Not your living, the fantasy world. Get off the phone. She's talking to you. This okay. Is not the time, not the if you want to go talk to some idiot, okay. go out on the street. Go. Hang out with those See what I told you, Muslim woman? Look at this. I should talk to her husband. Do. Yeah. Your wife, she respects you a lot, man. I'm telling you. Muslim men, they grow mustache, beard, hamas, but inside the house, they are hummus. She was talking to him as if he's a cat. And he said, fine, okay, fine. You have a job. You want to go to job? Huh? Fine. He doesn't dare even to say no. That is Islamic Middle Eastern. They are hero outside. Inside the house, they are mosquitoes. Uh, tomorrow he will go to the street. He will say, "Brother, when I speak to my wife, I scream at her. She starts shaking." Yes, brother. There's a there's a Middle Eastern guy. He told you know they are, he is sitting in the like in the park with his friend. So he told him, "Man, I, my wife she is really tough with me. I cannot even move anywhere. That's why I cannot see you at, that much." He said, "Man, you should learn from me. If I scream at her, she shake like a mosquito." The other guy, he said, you? Really? You can do that? He said, yeah. He won't show you? The guy could not believe it. He said, okay, I will go with you. So they went there. And he opened the door. He screamed. He said, make hot water. You know, like in the old days, they didn't have like hot water ready as always now. Even actually in the Middle East, until now, they don't have hot water ready in most of the places. Make hot water. He screamed. And he like opened the door violently. And the woman, she said, yes, my husband, I will make the hot water right away. You know, he said to him, see, she will make hot water, so I will. she will wash my feet. Now you better go. I just showed you how she gets scared of me. So the guy, he took his friend to leave the house. He opened the door. She screamed. She said, where are you going, you idiot? The hot water is almost ready. Come wash the dishes. And this is our friend here. Hmm. The hot water to wash your feet, right? With it, she will wash your feet with it. Mm -hmm. Idiot, where are you leaving? The hot water is ready almost. Don't leave. Wash the dishes. The the hot water was for the dishes, not for the, not for his feet. <laughs> anyway. Please tell all Christians to go to Washington, D.C. Trump need everyone support. My friend, what does that mean? What does that mean? I mean, this uh, this Trump, he is an idiot. Come on, I, I voted for him, but this guy is an idiot. And that's it. I mean, he even, I mean, they, they he knew they're spying as his phone and he keeps saying stupid things. I never saw a stupid guy like this guy. What an idiot. Anyway. Uh, anyway, guys, I think we have a good time together. Did we have a good time? Do we have any other Muslim want to call us? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Mayday, Mayday. Last call. Did the Lazar change the 99 names? Yeah, actually they did. They start searching and they found, yes, there's no 99 names. They could not find the 99. I mean, where, where, where they are in the Quran, you know, it's just a joke. Yeah. Do we have any Mohammedan? Is somebody saying you are a hypocrite because of a Trump? My friend, I voted for Trump and Trump is a stupid. But because he is the smartest between the stupid ones, like we, we don't want to get Biden, but we got a Trump. But Trump is not better. Trump is corrupt like them. His son-in-law, he rented his building to Qatar for 99 years. I mean, from all people in the world. He went in the front of the White House. He said, Qatar is supporting terrorism. We will put sanctions on them. Two weeks after, his son-in-law, who is working with Trump, he rented his building for 99 years for a rent of $1 billion. So he is a fraud like the rest. Give me a break. And you are, you know, I feel sorry for you. We voted for him because he is better than the rest. But he is not, you know, he is not really the the, 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 the good guy we can be proud about. He is a potato. He, he left Iran, do whatever. He got a chance to demolish Iran. 
the Iranian, they hit our soldiers. He was watching like a, like a rabbit just because he want to win the election. Just because he want to win the election. This guy is desperate to win the election. He got a golden chance to do it. He did not do it. And just two days ago, now today, he forced Saudi Arabia to shake hands with Qatar just because they are the friends of his son-in-law. He forced them to shake hands and those are the enemy of USA. So do you see how, how, how filthy this idiot is? Maybe it's our luck that he left. I mean, how in the world you made them shake hands together and both are the enemy of us? Qatar is number one supporter. He forced Saudi Arabia to lift sanctions on Qatar and his daughter, she is proud about the, the accomplishment of her father. Supporting terrorists. Lifting sanctions from their borders. Now, today, the Prince of Saudi Arabia shake hands with them and they give them a hug because Trump, he forced him. The, the, the president of Egypt is going to sign agreement to the, the, prime, the, 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 the prince of Emirat. All of this just for Kushner. Cowards. So I'm glad he lost. Maybe next time he will learn how to not to be stupid, not to be corrupt like the rest. Yeah, he won't learn the slide. Maybe, maybe not. But he, he was not a good man in the same time. Turkey was killing the Armenian and he was posting. Erdogan, he took our church. In the same day, Trump, he posted in Facebook, Twitter. Today, I tried this dish. It's fantastic. Every king in the world spoke about Hagia Sophia. Except Trump. He never heard of Hagia Sophia. Why? Because those are his friends, Qatar and Turkey. He waited four years and... One week before he leave, he said we will put sanctions in Turkey because we want them to buy weapon from us, not from Russia. That's it. What what he care for? Killing Christians in Syria, killing Kurdish. He decided to withdraw his army from the north of Syria so the Turkish will kill all the Kurdish. This guy's an idiot. I don't know. You know, we don't we don't trust any of those. Uh, you know. My friend, in America, they don't choose for you a president, they choose for you a donkey. And this donkey is either is going to hit you in the neck, or in the face, or in your nuts. I never, I never saw a president to this country, he is not a donkey. Anyway. Uh... Still, you know, we voted for him, and now, I just a few weeks ago, I voted for him, because we don't have a choice. He is better than Joe Biden's husband. <laughs> I mean, look what happened because of his stupid Trump. He lost the election because of his stupid statement, the stupid things he say, the stupid phone calls he do, the stupid, you know, I mean, everything he do. He's like a kid. He, he, he just, yesterday he called the, the uh, you know, the governor of uh, Georgia, you know, like, collect for me voices, collect. What is that? You, you see that in the phone, you idiot? Here we go. So now, if they lost uh, the senators in in a uh, race in Georgia, is going to be because because of him. Crazy, crazy man, mentally ill. He have like he's like Muhammad, you know. He wanna just he worship himself. It's him, him, him. That's why he keep firing people. You know, this guy he never made a good choice even for anyone work with him. Even the judges, he put them in the Supreme Court. They betray him after they went there. Because he is, you no, know, all the liberals are, they have a, it's a bad party. They support everything against our belief. Everything. Isn't it Biden who was quoting Prophet Muhammad? Go watch his video. I mean, what do you want more? Americans are naive. Americans are, American are not, are not educated people. Americans are very naive people. You can drive them by a speech and you can make them go to sleep by a speech. I, I, I never saw an American, someone is educated. They don't know. They don't even know where is Israel located. Ask them, where is Syria? They don't know. There is a guy, his name is Mike Dice. He make videos. He work in California. He asked people uh, questions. Okay. He asked them, uh, that, that he said, the children of Trump, they killed the dinosaur. And they are getting away with it. 
The girl, she said, oh yeah, they are getting away with things. I mean, just how stupid they are. They think there's dinosaurs still exist. You know what I mean? So he did many stupid things and he do stupid. I, actually, he might be even punished by God for not standing for Hagia Sophia. He said nothing about it. Four years, he, he closed his eyes on Erdogan. Erdogan slaughtered the Armenian, he's watching Erdogan slaughtered. And all of us, we knew if a Trump, he shout at him, the guy will stop immediately. This is the most powerful president in this earth. He turned to be a potato. Give me this White House and I will show you who is Erdogan. In five minutes. So don't tell me he was busy and don't tell me he cannot fix it and don't tell me he did not. He did. He ignored it because he is his, their friends. They are in bed together with Erdogan. This is why he is desperate to fix the problems of the Prince of Qatar. Because he's afraid if they start investigating his son-in-law, the Prince of Qatar, he will say something. A billion dollar gift to his son-in-law. I have a car and I want to rent it for 99 years. Who is willing to rent it from me? 99 years. What is that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious this is corruption? 99 years rent. I mean, who, who in the world want to rent a building for 99 years? Nobody would do that because this is stupid. Because building, they don't survive 99 years. They collapse. This is their age. <laughs> Which means they bought it without buying it. So they will make it like we did not bribe him. Anyway, we change our topic because of people coming here. Please, when you come here, leave me alone from the stupid Trump and his corrupted family. His daughter became in the White House. His son-in-law became in the White House. I mean, this guy, he thinks the White House is, a, is his family business. They own the White House. And now he don't want to leave. Crazy people. Possessed with, with power and money. Anyway. Uh, do we have any Muslim? CCP missing with USA, so what? And we are missing with them. I mean, why Americans don't see? We miss in Syria, we miss in Iraq, we miss in Afghanistan, we miss in Pakistan, we miss everywhere. So nobody can mess up, mess up with us, right? You are, you, are, you are thinking like Muslims. The Muslims, they can kill you, they can rape your women, they can steal your house, but you cannot do that to us. No, you cannot. This is how the American think. This is how the American think. They can control the world, but nobody can control the world. Oh, Russia want to control Syria. So? You control half of the earth, if not all of it. <laughs> this is the truth. But Americans are naive, you know. They don't see. Americans, they think everybody eat hamburger like them. Everybody have three cars in front of his house and have five five cats. You know what I mean? You install Pal Talk. I said only Muslims can text me in Pal Talk. Only Muslims can text me in Pal Talk. Any Christian will text me in Pal Talk. I will block you. I did not open Pal Talk, so people start texting me, my friend. I have million people will text me. Only Muslims can call me. When I say Christians can call, then go ahead and call me. But people don't listen. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I called him. The coward, he hung up on me seven times in less than th two minutes. He told the Muslim he would debate me. This Mimi Hijab, the coward, son of Muta. And then when we called him, he played a little video of me saying something. He said, did you say that? Hang up on him. So we did. They are cowards. Yeah, pal talk, pal talk. I don't, I don't open Skype anymore. The reason I open, don't open Skype because of the Christians. 
Each time I open Skype, I find 1,000 people want to add me. I mean, what do you want to add me? I open Skype to talk to Muslims. Somebody told you I'm here to chat with people, have coffee with them, have a friends. No, my friend, I have a mission. So you open this crazy uh, uh, Skype, you find a thousand people, add me, please. Are you CP? Add me, please. Are you CP? Why you want to add me? What, what for? I am here opening my program to talk to Muslims so you can listen to the conversation. You as a Christian, you chat here. Thank you very much. Actually, there's a there's a person. Each time I go in Pal Talk, this she's a you know she, she's weird. She texts me, uh, Patreon block my account and you block me, and I do not know how to make. Don't make donation to me no more. You know, crazy person. I mean, they stalk you. You know, there's stalkers. Literally stalkers. I am here to speak to Muslims. Right. The Apostle Murrah, former disciple. How are you, Apostle Murrah? Why you don't call me, Apostle Murrah? Here we go. We have your brother, a Muslim. He said that Aisha, she was a liar. And the Quran says, the bad women for bad men and bad, bad men for bad women. So Aisha and Muhammad, they are a fraud. Do you dare to call me apostate, Murrah? Oh, sorry. This is, I, I got you wrong. I, I thought this is a Muslim, apostate, Murrah. <laughs> I thought you are a Muslim. I did not read the whole thing. Do we have any Muslim on answer? Please, when you come here, don't take us out of our topic. This is not a chat about Trump. This is not about stupid Biden. This is not about the garbage of USA politics, which is nothing but corruption and people who they are seeking power and you are the poor who pay the price. All of them, they want to ride you like a donkey. All of them. Nobody like you. Nobody love you. Nobody care for you. All of them, they live in palaces. All of them, they are millionaires and billionaires. And you are the poor who suffer to have health insurance and you don't have it. That is reality. You fight for Trump. You fight for Biden. Both of you are stupid. And they are the one who live like kings. Now, do we have any Muslim? Anyone? I am an American citizen, but I cannot have a health insurance. Why? Is Kushner the son of law of Trump? He have health insurance. Yes, he have. Is Biden the son of uh, of Biden? He have insurance. Sure, he have. But why I don't have? Huh? Why your kids they have to pay an arm and a leg to go to school? Why if I'm an American woman, she have cancer, she have to die because she cannot afford it. This is the most powerful country in the world. They cannot make us have health insurance. Who can believe this garbage? They have money to give to Israel. They have money to give to Egypt. They have money to give to Saudi Arabia. Every country in the world get salary from us, including Turkey, including even Qatar. Can you believe it? Even Saudi Arabia, we have assistance program for them. Can you believe it? And we are the citizen of this country. We cannot have a free dental. We don't have it. So don't tell me about this garbage, please. They have billions to give outside, but not to us. You work like a donkey, you pay tax, and the king live as kings, and the poor stay poor, and they don't have health insurance. And then when you get sick, you have to sell your house, you have to sell your car, you have to sell everything you have, so you can go and deal with the, with the cancer, and mostly you will die. That is the truth. And then you go and you fight for voting, etc. We voted for Trump because we have two donkeys. One of them will hit you in the head, the other one will hit you in your nuts. Choose, choose one. That's the truth. I know many of you don't like what I'm saying, but who care? I'm a person who say what I believe. Anyway, do we have any Abdul? Last call, Midi Midi. Midi Midi. Anyone? 
Ah, this guy is still here. Is it your wife? She said to you, don't go. Why do we exist? We heard your wife, man. She is humiliating you. I mean, she wiped the floor with you. Anyway, so we will stop here so you guys can download the video. Please feel free to download it, share it with your friends. You can cut the part where we speak about politics or anything have nothing to do with the topic. Do as you wish. And uh, subscribe uh, so you can be informed. And if you like to join us in Patreon, feel free. Uh, our service is for free for everybody. You know, we don't, uh, uh, we don't treat uh, the rich better than the poor. And we don't treat the poor better than the rich. You know, we would love to help everybody. And we want everybody to know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So we pray to the Lord that the person who called me, his name, uh, why we exist, he should ask himself why he is exist following Muhammad. And he noticed that how foolish Islam is, how stupid Islam is. Islam is nothing but a collection of stupid stories. It's not even fit for children in the age of six years old. Like Aisha, the one who married to Muhammad at the age of four, at the age of six. So we are here to share the truth and nothing but the truth. And as you see, everything we say, we show you in the screen with reference. And we challenge any Muslim, the one who knows a lot and the one who knows little. I don't know who's going to call me next. I don't know if he's the biggest sheikh or the smallest one. But I guarantee you one thing. None of you can debate me. None of you. I encourage the Muslim to ask their sheikhs, why you don't debate this guy? Is it a good question? If you don't debate him more and more people will leave Islam, you better do it. Before it's too late, thousands of Muslims are leaving Islam because of our videos. Why? Because nobody can refute us. So where is the scholars who can refute us if they are exist? Until that time, we will say we will wait for them. And if you say, inshallah, they will debate me, that's me will never happen because the God of Islam, he does not exist to make anything happen. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And thank you very much. Take care.